Welcome, Tina McDonald Counselling. Today I'd like to have a little look at another of Eric Byrne's transactional analysis patterns of engagement with the world. And it's one that for me, I probably, I probably see every day in some form or another. It's called, I'm only trying to help you. This is often found within the professional working sector. So it's the sense of confidence in knowing what you're doing and how you impart advice. So you give advice, whether it's needed or not, because you're the professional in the room and therefore you know what people need. As a counsellor, this is something that we all work on every session in not bringing into the room. We're not there to give advice. We're there to give you a safe space in order that you can have a look and be curious around what's going on in your life. So advice giving, when it's not asked for, is I'm only trying to help you, rather than I ask for advice and so therefore I do know some things, I can be helpful. There's a fine line, it's a difference. The person says, but I didn't want that help. Well, yeah, but I, I know what I'm doing with advice, so I'm going to go back in, I'm going to try again, because maybe you didn't hear that advice properly the first time. And so you try again. Not questioning your own nature of advice giving and your own motive of why you're the one that's giving the advice, even though it's not been asked for. Um, because you're following the correct procedure. So it's back to that sense of being the professional. This is how it should be. I know how this looks. And so if I look around me, other people in the same profession, they're, they're doing it too. So therefore it's okay. If it gets thrown back at you, you know, it's then, well, look at what you made me do but I was only trying to help you. Bewilderment, frustration at this point is reinforcing of how we feel and recognising that that feeling is connected with the sense of self. I am the person who gives the advice because I know what I'm doing and I know what it looks like, what it should be in action. Counselling can explore why you need to offer the help. And is the point of you helping, the reward, the entry, why you do it, or is the point of the person getting help is because they specifically asked or because you sensed that they were wanting you to or did you not even notice that because you automatically stomped on in there with your knowledge and I'm only trying to help you. So I'm not doing any harm because it's come from a good place. But actually, if somebody gives you advice and they are suggesting other things, then that can have an impact that's not always helpful or is not always wanted. The hook, the why you do this, is that you're making everything okay for all people, is therefore the payoff that without feeling you're in control and you're helping everybody, whether they want it or not, it comes from a good place, I'm helping, so it's okay, because if I don't do that, I have a sense of inadequacy. And often that's where that's come from. If I don't guarantee that I'm only trying to help you, is the way forward, then what have I got to offer? And therefore I feel inadequate. And that's where in counselling we can have a look together and say, where did this sense of responsibility for having to take on other people, whether they want to or not, 
to have to give them advice, to have to come in and organise them, even though they don't want to be organised and they never indicated that they did in the first place. And see where that sense of inadequacy lies and work on it together, as always, together. But that was Eric Burns. I always say I have no ownership and I, I just, I offer it as a point of curiosity. It's a, a fascinating way to work, but I have the joy as a pluralistic counsellor that I'm not always working in just the one way. But these segments of this theory are often very helpful when it comes to relationships and when it comes to the interaction between people on a regular basis ending up in the same way every time regardless of the content and that's because if the approach is I'm only trying to help you whether you want to or not then that's a point of interest so subscribe leave a comment give us a thumbs up and have a look on Instagram and Facebook and we're trying to get the counselling conversations out there